Just Kayla to win Kayla things. Barong bow. Hola, hola, hola. Me llamo Kayla, and this is my Spanish channel, Just Kayla Things Spanish, where we help each other learn Spanish. Today's video, we're going to continue learning the most commonly used words in the Spanish language. So, without further ado, let's begin. But before we begin, I just want to remind you that these videos are for those people that already know what the three moods are indicative, imperative, and subjunctive. Okay, that's all you need to know. Let's start. Madre. Madre. Madre is a noun, singular, and feminine. Madre means mother or mom. Mother or mom. Mi madre me dijo que comprará leche, pero se me olvido. My mother told me to buy milk, but I forgot. Mi madre me dijo que comprará leche, pero se me olvido. Madre means mother or mom. Cosa. Go sa. Cosa is a noun, singular, and feminine. Cosa means thing. Thing. Antes de que te vayas, quiero preguntarte una cosa más. Before you go, I want to ask you one more thing. Antes de que te vayas, quiero preguntarte una cosa más. Cosa means thing. Por lo menos, por lo menos. Por lo menos is an adverb that means at least. At least. Sal de tu casa por lo menos dos horas antes del vuelvo. Leave your house at least two hours before the flight. Sal de tu casa por lo menos dos horas antes del vuelo. Por lo menos means at least. Gusta. Gusta. Gusta is a conjugated verb in the indicative present tense in the form of el, ella, o usted for the verb gustar, which means to like. Entonces, gusta means he likes or she likes or you like. He likes, she likes, or you like. A ti te gusta la música? Do you like the music? A ti te gusta la música? Gusta means he likes, she likes, or you like. Estado. Es -ta -do. Estado. Estado is a noun, singular, and masculine. Estado means state, status, or condition. State, status, or condition. Este pescado tiene un aspecto malísimo. No creo que esté en buen estado. This fish looks really bad. I don't think it's in good condition. Este pescado tiene un aspecto malísimo. No creo que esté en buen estado. Estado means state, status, or condition. Aún. Aún. Aún is an adverb that means still or yet. Still or yet. Los niños estaban aún despiertos y oyeron la conversación. The children were still awake and they heard the conversation. Los niños estaban aún despiertos y oyeron la conversación. Aún means still or yet. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué is a conjunction that means because or as. Because or as. Yo voy a regresar a la tienda de ropa porque van a tener rebajas. I'm going to return to the clothing store because they will have a sale. Yo voy a regresar a la tienda de ropa porque van a tener rebajas. Porque means because or as. Sus. Sus. Sus is an adjective, plural, and both feminine and masculine. Sus means your, its, his, 
or hers. Your, its, his or hers. ¿Cuáles son sus objetos profesionales a largo plazo? What are your long-term career objectives? ¿Cuáles son sus objetivos profesionales a largo plazo? Sus means your, its, his, or hers. Hoy. Hoy. Hoy is an adverb that means today or now. Today or now. ¿Quieres venir hoy a la cine conmigo? Do you want to come to the movies with me today? ¿Quieres venir hoy al cine conmigo? Hoy means today or now. Dice. Di. Se. Dice. Dice is a conjugated verb in the indicative present tense in the form of el, ella, or usted for the verb decir, which means to say or tell. Entonces, dice means he says, she says, or you say. He says, she says, or you say. El periódico dice que va a hacer frío mañana. The newspaper says that it is going to be cold tomorrow. El periódico dice que va a hacer frío mañana. Dice means he says, she says, or you say. Ese. Es. E. Ese. Ese is a pronoun that means that. That. Vi una receta interesante en ese libro. I saw an interesting recipe in that book. Vi una receta interesante en ese libro. Ese means that. Donde. Don. De. Donde. Donde is a relative adverb. Relative adverbs help us add information about the time, place, or quantity and the way that something is done. And it cannot function as its own sentence. I know there's a word donde with the accent over the O. That one can function by itself as a complete sentence. For example, where is the store? Donde está la tienda? But if you say, where the store? That's not a complete sentence. So donde, without the accent, donde as a relative adverb means where. That's, it, means the same, it means the same thing, but the relative adverb cannot stand on its own as a sentence. Mira, esa es la iglesia donde me casé. Look, that's the church where I got married. Mira, esa es la iglesia donde me casé. If I were just going to remove the first part up until where, if I said where I got married, that's not a complete sentence. So you wouldn't use the accent. If you were going to say where did you get married, then you could put the accent there. Donde means where. Que haría. Que ri a. Que haría. Que haría is a conjugated verb in the indicative imperfect tense in the form of yo, el, ella, o usted for the verb querer, which means to want. Entonces, que haría means I wanted, he wanted, she wanted, or you wanted. In other words, used to want. The imperfect tense is basically saying that you used to want something. It's in the past. Yo quería que Juan me ayudara a lavar la ropa. I wanted John to help me wash the clothes. You used to want John to help you wash the clothes. It's in the past. Yo quería que Juan me ayudara a lavar la ropa. Quería means I wanted he wanted, she wanted, or you wanted. In other words, you used to want something because the imperfect tense is in the past. Gran, gran. Gran is an adjective singular in both feminine and masculine. Gran means great, large, or high. Great, large, or high. Dicen que Juan Gonzalez es un gran pelotero. They say that Juan Gonzalez is a great baseball player. Dice que Juan Gonzalez es un gran peletero. 
Gran means great, large, or high. Serio. Se, ri, o. Serio. Serio is an adjective, singular, and masculine. Serio means serious, severe, or real. Serious, severe, or real. La contaminación es un problema serio. Pollution is a serious problem. La contaminación es un problema serio. I put the un in purple because it's going with serio and not problema, which is feminine. Serio means serious, severe, or real. Buen. Buen. Buen is an adjective and masculine. Buen means good, great, or nice. Good, great, or nice. Este pescado tiene un aspecto malísimo. No creo que esté en buen estado. The fish really looks bad. I don't think it's in good condition. Este pescado tiene un aspecto malísimo. No creo que esté en buen estado. Buen means good, great, or nice. Mal. Mal. Mal is an adverb that means bad, badly, or ill. Bad, badly, or ill. El tiempo era mal porque estaba lloviendo. The weather was bad because it was raining. El tiempo era mal porque estaba lloviendo. Mal means bad, badly, or ill. O. Oh. O. Oh. O oh is a conjunction that means or. Or. Prefiere usted trabajar solo o en equipo? Do you prefer working alone or in a team? Prefiere usted trabajar solo o en equipo? O means or. Verdad. 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 Verdad is a noun, singular, and feminine. Verdad means truth. Truth. Basta que le digas la verdad. No tienes que mentirle. Just tell him the truth. You don't have to lie to him. Basta que le digas la verdad. No tienes que mentirle. Verdad means truth. También. Tam, B, N. También. También is an adverb that means also or as well. Also or as well. Yo compré no solo la carne, sino que también verduras. I didn't only buy the meat, but also the vegetables. Yo compré no solo la carne, sino que también verduras. También means also or as well. Día. D. A. Día. Día is a noun, singular, and masculine. Día means day or date. Day or date. ¿Cuántas veces al día de cepillas los dientes? How many times a day do you brush your teeth? ¿Cuántas veces al día de cepillas los dientes? Día means day or date. Estamos. Es, ta, mos. Estamos. Estamos is a conjugated verb in the indicative present tense in the form of nosotros. For the verb estar, which means to be, entonces estamos means we are. We are. Nosotros estamos en clase de español. We are in Spanish class. Nosotros estamos en clase de español. Estamos means we are. Sea. Se. A. Sea. Sea is a conjugated verb in the subjunctive present tense in the form of yo, el, ella, or usted for the verb ser, which means to be. So, sea means I am, he is, she is, or you are. I am, he is, she is, or you are. Espero que sea en la tienda a por el pavo. 
I hope she's at the store getting the turkey. Espero que sea en la tienda a por el pavo. Sea means I am, he is, she is, or you are. Entonces. En, don, ses. Entonces. You may have heard me say entonces before I go to a different slide. Well, now you're going to, if you didn't know before, now you're going to know what I actually meant by that. So entonces is an adverb that means so or then. So or then. Primero, el camarero trae las bebidas. Entonces, trae la comida. First, the waiter brings the drinks. Then he brings the food. Primero, el camarero trae las bebidas. Entonces, trae la comida. Entonces means so or then. Mejor. Me mejor. Mejor is an adjective, singular in both feminine and masculine. Mejor means better or best. Better or best. Los estudiantes están construyendo un futuro mejor para ellos. The students are building a better future for themselves. Los estudiantes están construyendo un futuro mejor para ellos. Mejor means better or best. Good job! You finished the review. Fantastic job! You got through the learning portion. Go through those as many times as you need to because now we're going to get to the reviewing part. Mejor. Mejor. Mejor means better or best. What is the conjugated verb gusta? It's conjugated in the indicative present tense in the form of el, ella, o usted. Entonces, what does gusta mean? Gusta means he likes, she likes, or you like. Aún. Aún. Aún means still or yet. What does estamos mean? It's conjugated in the indicative present tense in the form of nosotros. What does estamos mean? Estamos means we are. What does the conjugated verb dice mean? It's conjugated in the indicative present tense in the form of el, ella, or usted. What does dice mean? Dice means he says, she says, or you say. Madre. Madre. Madre means mother or mom. Estado. Estado. Estado means state, status, or condition. Verdad. Verdad. Verdad means truth. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué means because or as. También. También. También means also or as well. ¿Dónde? Without the accent. Donde. Donde means where. Dia. Dia. Dia means day or date. Ese. Ese. Ese means that. Serio. Serio. Serio means serious, severe, or real. Oi. Oi. Oi means today or now. Cosa. Cosa. Cosa means thing. Entonces. 
Entonces. Entonces means so or then. O. Oh. O. Oh. O oh means or. Por lo menos. Por lo menos. Por lo menos means at least. Gran. Gran. Gran means great, large, or high. Sus. Sus. Sus means your, its, his, or her. Mal. Mal. Mal means bad, badly, or ill. What does the conjugative verb quería mean? It's in the indicative imperfect tense and the form of yo, el, ella, or usted. Entonces, what does quería mean? Quería means I wanted, he wanted, she wanted, or you wanted. In other words, you used to want it because the imperfect tense is in the past. What does the conjugative verb sea mean? It's in the subjunctive present tense in the form of yo, él, ella, o usted. Entonces, what does sea mean? Sea means I am, he is, she is, or you are. Buen, buen. Buen means good, great, or nice. Woohoo! Good job! Congratulations! You got through the review. What's next for you? It'll be to use these words throughout your daily life. In sentences, in your journals, if you write a journal, in your diary, if you write a diary. In conversations you have with people, conversations you have with yourself. Use these words as much as possible so that they come easier to you every single time. Well, that's all for me. For this video, I'll see you next time. Adios. Bye. Just Kayla things. Bye.